Hello. Today I would like to show you a video of fixing this very, very cheap Chinese generic speakers that are powered directly from, from the USB. So we've got a connector to the USB and to my power bank. And on the audio input we've got a 3.5 millimeter audio jack that is over here and right now I can turn it on and we can play some music and they are playing uh, really really nice for the for the price I'm absolutely it's absolutely amazing how how beefy the speaker is it's a very nice magnet have a big membrane very nice I'm really impressed by the audio quality for such a cheap speakers that don't even have a name or brand there is no model number to Google but there is a big problem if I turn it um, on as you can see the amplifier circuitry is working fine I'm going to shut down the the audio input and I'm not sure you can hear that there is a really annoying beeping sound I'm going to put something on the membrane and can see how it's bouncing maybe something smaller that's a bad example but you can hear that we've got that constantly beeping and we know that the amplifier I see is working let me shut down the power so what's the problem my first suspect will be a uh, one of the capacitors leaking the DC voltage that's going to to go to the to the coil and I replace the first capacitor that is over here I accidentally break the pad and it didn't help but I'm located the cap that is not working and this is that one over here and right now you can hear there is a, a problem and now we can we can replace that they are very very cheap that model is a one micro microfarad and as you can see that will be a very very easy fix until my station has going to be hit up so they are so cheap that I could replace all of them because I'm going to think that maybe that's a fault of the series so the other one also going to go bad because they, they most likely have exactly the same time code so I'm going to replace all of them maybe except the one on the on the power line so let's try to replace to the to the new one and check if that fills the problem. I was trying to check them by the ESR meter. I was trying to check by this meter, but it looks like that the cap is leaking the DC voltage, and that's what making the problem. And I was unable to detect by this to device. Okay, so we very nicely remove that. I'm going to put it in the in the same spot with exactly the same polarity. Okay, we've got 
popularity is okay. I'm lacking of something to to mount it. My desk is completely dirty because I'm working on the UPS. Okay. I'm not going to trim the legs at this time and we're going to power it on and let me kill the sound there is absolutely nothing the coil is not not bouncing, it's steady I'm going to put the audio input and as you can hear everything is working fine so yes so if you have the similar symptoms the that the beeping that might be fault of the of the capacitors and there are so cheap so even if you don't know which one is causing the problem you can just start to replacing them in the audio output section so thank you very much for watching see you next time i hope that helps someone see you next time and bye bye